All right, we are back. So, uh, Nathan, Dawn, oh. do you do anything as you're kind of uh, allowed to be in this area and moving down towards the uh, stage? The room is oh. empty except for Alistair, as far as you can tell. Is it? <laughs> I mean, I'm if you want to roll perception... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay. Alertness. <laughs> oh. How about if I roll perception investigation, and rather than looking for people there, I look for where would be a good place to have people hiding. So that I know where people might come from. Sure. Perception investigation is fine if you're trying to like look for places that might be hiding spots. Sounds good. Okay. Because I'm not going to see people. <laughs> you can hide Leslie there. All right, that's uh, what I have you guys for. You kind of like take a glance around and kind of definitely can feel that there's a couple of areas where if there were people hiding out, that might be where they would be. You really don't okay. notice anything at this point in time, but you kind of have an idea of like where to look out for and to keep your eye out for. Um, <clears throat> Alistair will sense. kind of like sit there for a little bit and kind of then like uh, look up towards you and be like, ah, Nathan, Don, come, come, sit. I, I believe your friends uh... will be joining us shortly. Exactly. Excellent. Um, I did, uh, we... Unfortunately, Fieldings didn't pick up uh, your other friend's name. Uh, Leslie. Excellent. Leslie. Yes. Well, uh, Leslie and Samuel shall be joining us shortly. Uh, it's amazing how you can uh, find out where people are with just the right bit of prodding from uh, some contacts. Mm -hmm. It didn't take me long to figure out uh, who you really were and a little bit of who sent you for sure. I wanted to make sure about you, check up on you. Of course. No, no problem at all. Uh, we do our best to find out about those we're contacting as well and... Um... Honestly, most of what we could find is that you're, you have a lot of experience, and you're familiar with uh, those things that we're looking for information on. Well, truthfully speaking, there are probably people more familiar about the topics that you're looking into than uh, myself, but unfortunately, most of them are either very busy or very hard to reach. Ah, because you're so much easier to reach. At least I'm known where I'm at. That's fair. Well, uh, so Samuel, uh, you will be found by Fieldings, uh, and he'll be like, where is your, your friend, um, Leslie? Leslie? <laughs> <laughs> where, where's Leslie? I thought he was hanging out with me with the laptop. Right? He left. Oh, he left. Mm -hmm. Uh. He's him. not telling Sam anything at this <laughs> point. I'm gonna text him. Oh, Where dear. are you at? <laughs> no response. No. Oh, dear. Um, tell him, come to the meeting if you can, and, um, we'll, we'll leave a spot for him. Uh, can I here? You you text him the location and stuff like that. I'll get your rats ready. Oh, excellent. Um, he like text something on the phone, as you see yeah. him like kind of like chewing on one of his hands too. Like you know, like where his like, his nails like just chewing down on it very much. Like <laughs> like he's very nervous. All right. Again, you also uh, like as he's doing that. You also might you kind of notice that kind of weird tick he kind of has occasionally when he seems to either get very excited or very nervous. Hmm. Yeah, and I get I get the uh, the large box full of rats. <laughs> if he was capable of orgasm, he would. Yeah. <laughs> quite excellent. You, mm. I was right to rely on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, let's go then. Um, 
you will see the two of them kind of head out, um, and uh, then uh, Leslie, I believe uh, yep. you have to make me a check. All right. Uh, let me just see where did I put this here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna roll something here. And it's equal to obtain abrasion. The bonuses. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, oh my. So that's too. That's much well. better than last time. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, I guess if you Samuel, if you would like to make a perception alertness check just to like <laughs> see if you've noticed anything mm -hmm. you got it <laughs> oh. <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <clears throat> All right. Um, Fieldings will kind of lead you quickly to the building inside, uh, escort you to this big meeting room, and uh, down to the floor of the area and be like, <clears throat> I, uh, s s s s s Sir, um, it appears that the um, Leslie fellow was... Um, I, I couldn't notice him. Um, where he moved off to? Um, I don't know where he... I wasn't able to find him at the location, and um, Samuel didn't know about him uh, either. I can keep a, a lookout for him if you want. Um, Alistair just kind of, like, you. shoots this kind of glare towards Fieldings at this point in time. Hopefully I've got the advantage of they still don't know what I look like. All they know currently is a name. Sure. I start rattling off a description now. <laughs> At that point, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> and Samuel is never seen again. All right. And um, by hit, I mean hire a contract killer. <laughs> so he's gonna ask Dawn to murder Samuel. I like this plan. Right Dawn price, will murder Monday. Samuel. For the right price, you know. <laughs> I mean... Wick holds me too dearly, and she wouldn't want to break Wick's Okay, heart. yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> we just have to kill okay. you. I mean... <laughs> just put you in Topor. Turn me into a rat so I can live in happiness with Wick forever. What, driving around in the little convertible? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna <laughs> be riding around. Do you think the rats would then fight back for the amount of the family you'd be in? No, we Ooh. would become rat kings. Oh, I mean, oh kind of... that's that would be really gross, man. <laughs> That'd be like, very worse, gross. worse than what you are now. <laughs> stay, stay, uh, Nosferatu. Rat oh yeah, kings I forgot. Disgusting. Rat kings are like gross or something. Yeah, yeah. It's basically when a giant group of rats all get their tails tamed together and can't separate them, so you have this writhing mass of rat flesh. Do and it. It's disgusting. I'm Do gonna it. create a rat king. <laughs> It won't have me. the same supernatural powers as you'd find in D and D and or Pathfinder. It would just be, be like a pile of rats. rats. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like poor squirming rats that are just like slowly but surely dying. <laughs> no, I'll keep them fed and taken care of so they don't die. Oh god! I'll be anyway. king of the rats with my rat king. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. Anyway. <laughs> Um. Mm. Anyway, uh, Cromwell has glared at Fieldings for being unable to locate Leslie. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, uh, Alistair stopped for a second. He was like, <sighs> "Allow me to attempt something here." Give me quite a second. I, I apologize, but we... It's just... Dealing with these things can be... Um, a difficulty. <coughs> but uh, perhaps I can... Take care of it. A little bit. 
Uh, it seems like he's going to concentrate for a second. Um, okay. I have to see how... Oh, that's right, it's, it's eight. Now, is he an old enough vampire to beat a six success roll? Um, he is using something that you guys have oh. not encountered. I'm going to say he's likely getting a snack. You know, he was a little bit cranky when he saw that all these rats were going to be going to fieldings and not him. <laughs> I hope it's just a snack. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it apparent that he is using blood to do something? Um, like, are, th are there any supernatural effects occurring? You do not see any supernatural effects. He could be using blood for something, but the fact is, like, what he is doing does not have a visible effect. Um, what the hell would the attribute be for this one? I might... Uh, fortunately... Uh, well, unfortunately... Hey, they don't have this one in the book. It's one of the ones they don't have. <laughs> I love it when the book doesn't have something, then I gotta look it up and, like, find out what book it's in. I just love that. But, um, yeah. Um, so, oh, God. This is the unfortunate thing. I have to, like, quickly look this up, because if I don't, I, and it doesn't want to load up the book location so we'll just um we'll just have him roll something here and i will hope for the best and i will see what kind of numbers i get and work off of that that's what we'll say um it is plus what normally that let us say it's probably that because that makes sense okay oh Oh, so audio is still here on my stream. Weird. Okay, this is weird. Um, so I'm going to restart the stream, everybody. Be back in a couple of minutes. I'm going to try to fix this problem. I'm going to stop it currently. Um, since audio seems to still be working, oddly enough. I'm going to try to reset my internet, folks. So... I will be right back. Uh, we'll return shortly. We'll reset this everything and be back for Vampire in a moment. And we'll continue where I left off. So see you in a second, folks. Uh, just stop in the stream for a couple minutes to fix it. Oh, wait. Oh, is that fixing it? I might be fixing it. You know, That's I have awesome. always wondered where that email comes from. Hey, I think it just fixed a little oh, bit. Oh, hello. Oh. Cool. Hi. Let's hope that... If hey. by fixed hey. you mean we can hear you, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, you're, you're still a spinning circle visibly for me, though. Because OBS is open. Oh, right. And oh, I can't yeah. correct that. So I'm just going to be darkness for now, unless we stop <gasps> the stream. Okay. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> 
But hey, so, ba yeah, so basically, Leslie cool. just uh, cast Shroud of Night over Tantus. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. My internet just died for a second there. <laughs> I, didn't even, I was trying to like look up something quickly <laughs> because I was saying that uh, the the ability that he has uh, doesn't show up in the normal book. Like a lot of other things show up, but not that one because the book hates. Oh me. my. Um, and let's see if I can figure out what book it's in. And if I have that. <laughs> oh. I'm starting to think Leslie should just tone down his shenanigans. <laughs> Yo, what the heck, Leslie? But it's like, it's what he would do. He's plan. a spy, and now fucking Samuel's just giving him up, so he's like, I'm not. Oh, well, then, if you can't be a spy when people know you're there, you're obviously a bad spy. You know? It's the ultimate sneak. I'm glaring at you right now. That's. That's. See, I'm clearly what I should have done is just never let uh, Samuel know I existed in the first place. All exactly. There's, there's just help you guys from the shadows. There's different yep. ways to spy. All right. <laughs> Actually, Big that's a great idea. If I just like followed you guys around everywhere, <laughs> just assisting with whatever being seen. But, but like, he just us for a week and just follows us. <laughs> you don't even know he's here. He's. Like... <laughs> I'm just helping out subtly. We occasionally hear a phone vibrate when we text him, so we know he's around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, uh, by the way, Tantus, did you hear my comment that I mentioned to Mr. Cromwell that if he was concerned about the location of our compatriot, that we could find him? Oh, uh, well, you know, he would have activated this already, and I've got to figure exactly. out. Uh, I wanted to make sure that he used up whatever blood he was going to before I said something. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, that is not the correct one. Um, sorry. I. If you need me to show up just to, you know... No, it's the fact is, like, I could... He could try something, and it might work on finding you is the thing, but I have to find out... Uh, the mechanics of actually doing it. Oh, I did find it. Oh, thank everything right in the universe I found it. Uh, <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> Something no one found outside the old Cran Ceviche. Well, that, I mean, he qualifies for that. Um, well, one way you can probably fix the camera issue, by the way, is if you, like, right-click on your camera in OBS mm -hmm. and make sure that it's set to, uh turn off when not showing or something like that uh and it'll turn your camera off so it's not it's no longer using it or at least that should work uh yeah, let me pull up obs so i can actually look at what it says yeah i think there's also a disable button you can try as well yeah, it's like disable, disable when, when yeah disable oh. when inactive i think that's what the yeah. word is. oh oh my we jumped around what is this yeah Ooh. what so what what do i go into <laughs> so right click on your uh video capture device your webcam in obs uh and then there should be like a little box that says deactivate when not showing okay you want that then have her over here then get her over here sorry things are going on i feel like i should just play like some elevator music for the stream <laughs> okay so we were saying uh like yeah right click on my camera yeah, so this in the sources, your uh, oh, okay. uh, whatever your camera is called, mine is video capture device. Oh, hey, I got oh, it to work. work! I got yeah. it to work. Miracle of miracles. Nice. Let's go. I, That's cool. Whatever, I've got it to fix. You know. <laughs> uh, we have a tandas back. Uh, I was rolling something. Um, that's correct. I was figuring out uh, if I had to roll something with this one. Uh, Aha. Success. We live. Hmm. You know what? Uh, I think uh, we'll stick with what he rolled earlier. So, okay. So I figured it out. I think I know what it does. Okay. And so he does something and he's like, fine. If you can get him here quickly and efficiently, please do. I would like for mm -hmm. all of you to be present for this meeting. Certainly. I'll take out my phone and text Leslie. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cromwell desires all of our presences. They had four chairs ready. 
please just show up. And I'm gonna text, give me my laptop back. <laughs> oh, I left the laptop in the library. If you didn't drive it, that's on you. So. Um. <laughs> Wick. <laughs> oh. All right. That's I'll beautiful. Step out from whatever shadow I'm hiding in and walk to the table. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. I figured out what he would have done here. I just want to roll this to see. Uh, what Wait, no, you wouldn't have left it at the table because I gave it to you while we were walking around. No, we were in the library when you gave it me your laptop. Mm -hmm. No, I was looking for the rats. I wouldn't just look for rats in the library. Yeah, you gave me your laptop in the library, then the you library. left to look for rats. I thought, yeah. no, we walked out together and then we, we did not! I thought we did. No. What the heck? <laughs> I'm sure as hell I'm going rat hunting. What are you talking about? All right, Wick's on a journey to go get my laptop. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that would nice be an lap. epic journey for Wick. Like he's trying to drag. It. Well, he's got he's he's pretty strong for like a rat, he's so strong, he's like you know, yeah. so he could be like carrying it. It'll just be like comical that people will see this rat on <laughs> a laptop. It's like is that a rat dragging around a laptop? Or they don't even see the rat; they just see the laptop. They just see the laptop. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like under it, yeah. Oh. Okay. So he did something. Not sure what it was. Leslie shows up. Excellent. We can get down to business. Now, why is it that the lackeys of a young girl would come and find me for what purpose? Did he say the lackeys of the younger? I don't like being called a lackey. Yes, indeed. I like being called a moot. I've been called a lackey many, many times. It, it does not ever grow old, because then they're usually not mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as I said, uh, though I feel I can speak a bit more plainly, Helena has requested that we get your opinion and give you a look at a tablet that we found, as well as some pages that are ostensibly from the Book of Nod. Mm -hmm. All right. Show me what you have. All right. Um... Were we aware that we were supposed to bring this to the meeting? No. Okay. We have a picture of it, don't we? Somebody took a picture on their phone. Of the tablets. Yes. Probably some yeah. pictures we, on my we laptop do. as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I guess you should really keep better track of your belongings, shouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a few pictures that we are able to show you to uh, confirm the Genuine, genuineness of the articles. We did not bring the articles with us to this meeting as we were unsure how you would like to conduct business. Hmm. It was at least uh, reasonable of you not to bring all your materials here at one point in time. I can understand that. You wish to remain to keep what you have safe. So very understandable. You see... As one such as myself, that uh, I have to look out for my safety at all times. And it seems as though that you uh, were allowed in past my normal bodyguards. So, of course, I had to check up on you and as to how you could possibly get about this. And it seems that there have been some things going on in town that I don't know what your involvement in them is, but I'm sure that you had some kind of hand. Whether this was a tip-off or something, I don't know. Well, if you directly had that's fair. Hand in it. <laughs> that is a certainly fair assumption. Okay. Because I am a pop up, and my dad had to go pick up Granny. I know. I heard. He just has to talk to Alistair really quickly. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and hang out. Do your Ipsy Mouse. Be a good girl. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hi. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hi, Lucy. Go do your singing, Lucy. It's okay. No. No. Aurora? Yes. Yes. Aurora? Don't get in trouble now. Go do your ABC mouse. Be a good girl. How did they hear I just you? realized Tantus' camera is flipped. <laughs> is it flipped now? Yeah! Oh, yeah backwards. Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. Usually Whatever. clue usually the clue yeah, is on the other I'm side going, of your head. Yeah. <laughs> what? You are yelling into my like headphones, not the microphone, kid. <laughs> don't yell into the microphone. <laughs> Behave yourself. I don't want to have to punish you for being naughty. Now go, do your ABC mouse. <laughs> Go to also, what Alistair said to Lucy. Yeah, when I came in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle is the best! <laughs> okay, great, thanks. Go do your ABC mouse now. Behave. My uncle is the best! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now that we've done being interrupted by a, a six-year-old. is the best! <laughs> yes, okay. Stop it uncle now. Man Aurora? Uncle Matt is the best! Uncle Matt is the best! Wait, are we muted on stream too? Uh oh, okay. oh, oh my! Oh, okay. We're responding to a phantom person. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how? how so, did you does do anyone that? have any questions for us while we're paused? Yeah, Chad, if you have any uh, curiosities, this is mm -hmm. my channel now. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're going to turn on anime and watch a movie. I love watching anime and movies. <laughs> Why Umber is Dumber? Well, you see, I agree, with the anim I agree about the anime movies. Now that I'm on stream <laughs> Anime movies are great. Because some people can't spell, Dunce. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we were having a meeting. Yes, before I mm -hmm. was interrupted. Yeah, a meeting that is making us any more comfortable by the minute. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. That is a fair assumption that uh, that we might have a hand in any unusual goings on here. I mean, there's um, always unusual things going on in town, but yes, extra new things are always interesting in town. At least I'm entertained by the uh, events of the city. London is always a busy place, very wonderfully busy. So, though, if I'm going to help you out, here's an interesting question. What's truly in it for me? Uh, I, owe, well, I owe very little to your people. The, that which I owe to the Camarilla, I pay forward very often in my presence here in the town and the influence I have, meaning that I have nothing really that I owe them. And especially in New York, I personally have never been to your Americas. Nor have I really want to. You folks are always at battle and have some much problems with Sabat more than I personally have nowadays. Not for them having a lack of trying in the old days. <laughs> I have little doubt. Um. Honestly, being. <laughs> Of the younger generation, I am unsure what might motivate you, uh, aside from learning of this piece of history. Um, and the opportunity that we are presenting to you. What, hmm. what do you want? Hmm. There's only one thing I can think of that I really would love to reclaim from my old days. And I'm not sure if you folks are set up for it. All right. Would you be up for me giving you a mission worth certain death? Perhaps to fail? But if you do succeed, would be great to the world on hand? Hmm. Uh, certain death does... Others does uh, detract from the appeal of such a thing. Depends greatly on the mission involved. Ah. 
let's just say there was once an object owned by me of great power. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but a person such as myself, uh, we master abilities, uh, ancient abilities, uh, ones that I would say are, in a way, similar to that of your good friend, the uh, Tremere. Yeah. <laughs> they aren't the only ones to have a type of blood magic, may we say. Hmm. And this object was instilled with a great deal of it. It could be useful for a number of reasons. And in my studies, I've come across a couple of things that perhaps reclaiming my old object might be right for. Whether I would use it or find someone that would be able to use it, that would be a different thing entirely. All right, so reclaiming an object. Yes. I'm hesitant to tell you all the details because there's danger in it. I would have to uh, arrange something with your prince to allow you to travel for me, perhaps. You would have to return home to my home in Eastern Europe, the ancestral places of my end. Where, well, the Samiche both think I died and I did not. <laughs> Hmm. One of those Jesus stories. More like change of identity. Whoa, what is it? How much? How many tickets would hmm. this take away if I had 250 mood? Like, that would take away 250 for that one. If you want to be police officer uniform. Yeah, but how many would I have? 35. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> so pending approval by our prince well the thing is if I asked for this because she has already sent you to ask me for a favor I doubt she would refuse I would pretty much that... say I'm borrowing you I have very high doubts of it that's what I'd be doing borrowing you that makes sense <laughs> Um, Our current mission is of some priority, though. It's true. And I would have you complete your mission. It's just that you would be on a new mission for me. Correct. The, the bartering of our services for the consultation, uh, if I am to understand correctly, is the deal you are offering? Yes. And the thing is, I know that uh, your prince would be a, a, a person of honor. It would ensure that you would do your mission successfully, especially if I promised that uh, what you are retrieving would be for the good of kindred kind, which it would be. Hmm. Most practices mm -hmm. of my abilities have now fallen to the Sabbat, and so there are very few of us that are willing to put our trade. And as I am independent of both groups, though, but supportive of your... Camarilla, in a way. At least I uh, find you more friendly than those that would want to murder me. Well. I, I can honestly say that uh, I have no desire to murder you. There's one thing that I would have to do. I would have to use a ritual on you. An old Kudonic ritual. Kudonic? Ah. I believe you've not heard of Kuldanic sorcery. It is the mastery that I have. Hmm. Ancient as it is. I would have to and use... Would that... Go ahead. Would that be the sabbat aligned magics that you speak of? As I said, most have fallen now to the Sabbat. But there are a few of us that still know old abilities that the Sabbat have not mastered. Only us of the there, elders know it still. Are there perhaps others you may be willing to instruct in? Or is it just Kithonic? Hmm. You ask, pose a very interesting question, but uh, there would perhaps be other ways to use it. But. But no, I think uh, 
learning it. That would be an entirely different deal. I mean, I'm not one to teach it, I'm afraid to say, except to those that are under me, and you are not of my blood. If you'd find another of my kind that is not of Sabbat, they might perhaps be willing to deal for it. But I have long since passed from being a teacher. I see. You see, long ago, I developed a specialty ritual. One that, uh, it's been some time since I've used. But I could. It's a special promise. One that means I will reveal some information to you. And you will suffer quite a negative fate if you are to reveal it yourselves. That is it. It wouldn't be death, but I would know you betrayed me, and it would not feel very pleasant. And you know it is very hard for our kind to feel anything. Hmm. As I said, pending approval from our prince, I am not specifically averse to this deal. Uh, especially if it is the only exchange you are willing to make. Fieldens! I want you to contact uh, Miss Helena. Make sure to contact her when it is her mid uh, middle of the night. We shall rest for tonight then. Once things have been arranged, I'll arrange for another place for us to meet. And then mm -hmm. we can take care of business. I am curious. Uh, do... Is the information of a nature that some of us could be privy to it and not risk the mission if others of us were not uh, bound by the same promise? The information itself is something that could be found. Let me put it that way. It's just... Um, I'd rather not have more... people looking out for me than I already have. It's less of a need and more of a want. I can understand the desire to remain unseen. Exactly. If I tell you what you are looking for, you will know things about me that I'm not necessarily looking to share right now with the world. I am keeping my peace. If that information comes out, I can live with it. I've left, lived with it with centuries. But Mr. Cromwell has enjoyed relative anonymity and has enjoyed hmm. the fact that the Sabbat have only mildly tried to murder him. Hmm. As far as they know, Mr. Cromwell is an erstwhile childer of some ceviche elder they've already killed off. Something that does not know as much as they would like, they would worry about me knowing. Hmm. I more ask the question because the less people who know a thing, uh, the less opportunity there is for them to divulge a thing. That is why only you four would know. Because I would worry that if one of you would encounter something along your trips, you may figure something out on your own. As I said, you're heading towards my ancestral home to begin with, to begin your search. Ah. And, and so it is more about the identity and the connection to your current one than the information about the item itself or the uh, exactly. people we will be dealing with. Exactly. And I'm sure your prince knows that getting a me on, my, my, on better terms would always be a good thing. So, let's adjourn for this evening, and I will have mm -hmm. Fieldings contact you tomorrow night. By then, the information should be gathered whether or not Helena would be okay with this. But I'm sure she will not pass up an opportunity to use you in a way that is useful. He'll sneer. Um, I have similar doubts. He'll kind of uh, pick up a top hat that had been sitting on the chair, put it on his head, kind of like tip it a little bit. So he's very like, you know, very Nathan-y almost in a way, except <laughs> without the cape. 
you know, uh, adjust his glasses, put down his cane, bow, and leave. Excellent. Well, this should uh, be. Fieldings will be like. Um, fun? <clears throat> you'll see Fieldings uh, kind of <clears throat> like uh, having wandered in uh, with like chewing on something. Uh, <clears throat> it's like sucking something up. That looks like. That look, just looks like he was maybe slurping up spaghetti or something. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, I have my, I have your uh, some contact information for a Miss um, uh, Dawn and um, uh, Samuel. I will contact you uh, tomorrow, tomorrow evening uh, when I have the correct information for a meeting place. Uh, <clears throat> my uh, master, uh, employer, gives his farewells. Indeed. Okay. Thank you, Fieldings. Uh, he'll kind of like uh, also want like bow, kind of like a little bit more like you know like very like low, you know, instead of like a small bow, like, and then he'll kind of like uh, turn like brush himself off a bit, kind of move back towards the back of the building. It looks like he'll pick up some kind of large crate or something, and then he'll leave. Hmm. All right. Well, once he's gone, Leslie's just gonna turn to Samuel. <sighs> You do realize that there is an advantage in people not knowing that we have a third, or should I say fourth member? There's also that an perhaps advantage one of to us not has have not people think that we're hiding something from them. They had no knowledge that we were hiding something from them. They did not know I existed. They could have found out by talking to our... Uh, Princess, I guess Prince. It's a lady prince, but it's Prince all the same. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I think we need to teach you some spycraft. <laughs> <laughs> if you were Sabat, the person in charge of the city would be Bishop. That's wonderful. Yeah. That'll confuse you. <laughs> Hiding in plain sight has always been a little bit easy. I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> I say is the man that's got like the horrible yeah, face. Yeah. Hiding in plain sight, he says while he sits in the sewers. <laughs> I don't hide in the sewers, I live there, alright, buddy. There's uh -huh. uh huh. You wouldn't perhaps call that uh, you know oh, hiding, would you? No, I've got a neighbor. I don't hide from my neighbor, I just mm. throw shit at him and he throws shit back and we hate oh, him. How about you. the people well why don't you just go visit your neighbors above the sewers then? Gentlemen. I'll visit them. Regardless. <laughs> What's done is done. I agree that instructing Samuel on some of the more subtle points of spycraft might be worthwhile. I think that there is plenty of uh, benefit that we have gained from being a little more open. It is fun to push his buttons, though. And it'd be fun to tear yours off. That's a little kinky. I'm not into <laughs> that sort of thing at the moment, but regardless, Leslie's I do not relish. I do not relish going into a certain death mission without being confident that we all understand one another. I would very much like to resolve this difficulty. Before we leave. Samuel, in the future, I don't exist. How's that? Who was that? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> also, Nathan, I'm working with you from now on. <laughs> 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 All of a sudden, Leslie is now Nathan's date everywhere. <laughs> I'll lend you the dress and everything. Leslie's a loner. If he has to work with anyone, he's choosing Nathan. <laughs> I like how Doc's like, I'll lend you the dress. Working with Nathan. Uh, yo, Leslie will rock it. Don't even doubt it. I'm not the, I'm, it was a sarcastic. I will lend you the dress. You will look beautiful. We will get him his own dress if he wishes it. <laughs> 
The dress is a gift to you, Dawn. You look ravishing in it. I wish that you had looked ravishing significantly closer to me as you were there as my bodyguard. I am happy that nothing happened. And I would rather that nothing happened in the future. It sounds like I got a new, stronger bodyguard. (laughs) (laughs) As a shadow tentacle starts wrapping around his neck. (laughs) You know, I've watched Uh, the hentai like that. All right. (laughs) (laughs) You kept saying tentacles and you were hitting him like... I couldn't (laughs) He wasn't hitting on him, it was a threat! (laughs) You did hit on me. It always starts like that, you know? He did hit on him, technically. He did. He All did right. Those All right. right off. I give... If that is done... a sharp slap on the rear. <laughs> Samuel, I would appreciate yes. any information you can find on the Fieldings and Lucy. Uh, I'll get right on that. I would like to inform you that the reason I went rat hunting uh, was because... Fieldings offered me the opportunity of a favor from uh, Alistair. Hmm. I pushed it a little bit more towards gathering information for us, but I'm sure we could steer it back if needed. Excellent. Any uh, any additional aid we can find that ideally prevents our untimely deaths, uh, or I suppose timely, depending on your perspective, uh, mm-hmm. would be good. So thank you for that. Should also Excellent be noted work. that Fieldings does not seem to be one who'd inspire lack of faith in his underlings. It could be that Fieldings is already reporting to him about your interests. I have no doubt, as they were able to find uh, information on at least the the four of us, uh, although one of us is no longer with us. But they have to understand that this is the way Nosferatu operate anyway. They likely expected that I want information. And I I trust you uh, did not give him any reason to imagine you were attempting to undermine his loyalty. No, I told him simply to keep me in the loop. Excellent. All right. Are we ready to go home? Why don't we, as we go definitely. home, why don't we take our second break a little early now and set up for the huh. last bit here. As I also find out where my niece has wandered off to, and if that means people have come home or if she just wandered off somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh right boy. Back. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Uh, bathroom snack, drink. We'll see you in a second. Excellent.